Hey everyone, let's have a little chat about the Pillars of Reality series. This is a series in six books, written by Jack Campbell and narrated by McLeod Andrews. I highly recommend getting the audiobooks. I listened to all six books and loved the experience. The narration is super well done. McLeod Andrews really breathes life into those characters and the action that is happening. So you really feel part of what is going on in the stories. Now, the story, I don't really know where to put it. It's part fantasy. It also has sci-fi elements and steampunk elements. So we're just going to leave it at that. In those six books, you have one story told that is separated or split up into six separate adventures that give us the way or lead us to the end of the story. In the first book, we meet the main characters, Sir Major Elaine and Master Mechanic Marie, and learn about the world that the story is set in. Now, this whole series plays on the world of Demeter, and this has a split up society. Basically, we have mages, mechanics, and commoners. The mages and mechanics are organized in guilds, and the guilds rule the world. The commoners are basically suffering among everything and really have low self-esteem, have little knowledge and are governed by the guilds. There is also an empire going on that has some ruling effects on the whole world, but that would give away too much detail from the story. So I'm not going to mention that. One important factor that you need to know is that mages and mechanics don't work together. They are governed by separate guilds and the separate guilds follow separate rules and interests. And mages basically ignore everyone and mechanics think they're better than everyone else. So this is the world the story is set in. In the first book, like I said, we meet our main characters, a mage and a master mechanic. And traditionally, they shouldn't even talk to each other. They shouldn't work together. But they have a situation that needs to be solved and they help each other. And this is what starts the whole series. Those two work together, develop a relationship and try to change the world at the end of the story. Now, this is basically a story set all around changing the world, the society, and making it more equal for everyone and working together and all of those things, centered around those two opposing characters that find a way to work together and make things work for everyone. I highly recommend you check out this series. It has a lot of fun elements. You really get to like Sir Major Lane and Master Mechanic Marie and their interactions, but you also get to know a lot more characters as the story evolves. You get to know a lot more about the world and the history of the world and how it came to be and where they are and what's the situation. You have a lot of thoughts about political systems and how we treat each other and how humans should interact and ideas of leadership and not leadership and yeah a lot of topics are scratched at. I have to mention that since this is a series where you move somewhere you sometimes feel like this is a book that just gets you from A to B and you're not as invested in the story that is happening. I'm also not sure if this series desperately needed six books as the last book just feels like Settling everything with war and a lot of politics. So it wasn't as captivating and felt a little bit nostalgic with remembrance of what happened in the years before than the other books. But overall, I think this series is very entertaining. It's super well done and has interesting ideas, interesting aspects and the usage of magic and mechanics and the way to look at worlds and things is super fascinating. If you like fantasy, if you like steampunk, if you're interested in science fiction that is not overly science fiction, then I really recommend you check out this series and especially on audio. If you have read the series, I would love to hear from you and know what you think about it and if you liked it, what's your favorite part of it, or if you didn't like it or what you didn't like about it. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Let's talk in comments. Bye-bye.